Hey guys, Jason Samkoviak here, Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. Today we're going to talk about those bag targets with the dots on them. Do they have any value for us as a bow hunter for target archery? And if you'd asked me this question, say even three months ago, and any time before that for the last 30 years, I'd have said probably not. I don't think they do because we're not shooting at a dot on an animal, okay? There's no value in shooting at a dot that you get to actually focus on and pick. Now... My opinion has changed since I've done that four corner video that I showed you on there and uh, I started, you know, shoot, I, I, shoot, it's a video. I have it linked at the end for you, but it teaches you how to take a piece of regular computer paper and then mentally draw in the corners equal on both sides and shoot for that spot on there. And since I've done that, I realized that that really helps me a lot with my training on picking a spot and projecting a spot, making that spot there that's not really even there. See, with deer, that shoulder is very defined. But when it comes to an actual hog or a bear, trying to see that line and how where to put that arrow is a lot harder other than just saying straight up the leg, this kind of thing. you got to project a spot um, on them. So I was using that, to, to, that piece of paper to train myself to do the math and project a spot where I wanted it to hit in the corner, an inch or two in, an inch or two. It's in the video, okay? It's fantastic. Well, since doing that, since I had to bag target out here, I've been shooting at it, you know, a little bit here probably 100 arrows or so over the last two days and one thing i've noticed it it really does the bag target is really nice like we're back here quite a ways you can see how far we are we're at 23 yards okay this is what i consider my absolute maximum distance that i would shoot at an animal um and i say that because my max distance is 20 yards and if i'm off a little bit could be 23 but you can see how so like here I, I i'm only shooting two arrows and i'm not shooting them at the same dot and i'm offsetting them so the first arrow we shot was actually at the lower left corner and the second arrow we shot was at the opposite the top upper right corner and uh, i can't tell from here how great i hit i can't even see it very well because it's yellow feathers on a yellow target we'll go down and look in a minute but actually we can go down there we'll finish this down there let's take a walk let's go see here how we did and uh, where i can't see where you're seeing on here I think about right there. Well, let's see. I was aiming for the lower left and the upper right. You know what? And I'm calling those pretty dang good shots. Let me set my bow down here. And then I'll frame you here. Let me get you set. Spin this so that I can see. And we'll drop this. And like that. There we go. And so I'm not calling that bad shots. Now I'm out on this one. But again, 23-yard shot. And if you look at that, I mean, that's that's... That's right in the kill zone. I mean, this is the size of a pop can. This is a very small 300 bag target. And uh, so I'm not calling that too bad, but I was actually aiming for this one. This one we hit a lot better on. But the point being is that these things are going to give you an advantage because you have to mentally pick a spot. Now, the paper that I was doing and that thing was training you to pick that spot and be able to identify and project a spot. This practice is you focusing on a particular spot. Um, both of that practice, that one, that one where you're projecting that spot, and this one are going to help train you and prevent you from just shooting at the whole deer or shooting at the lines of the deer. Okay, it's gonna project. It's gonna help you project that spot. And the other one I did, this one is gonna help you shoot for that spot. Um, and I'm I'm really enjoying doing it. I like I said, normally I've always thought of, you can see all the holes is basically wrecked out almost in the middle here. It's soft and nothing left. That's from me doing form practice on this bag. Um, when I do, but since I've started shooting at the the rings on here the last, like I said, few shots, I'm really enjoying that challenge of trying to pick that exact spot um so it's been a lot of fun it's been rewarding so i do believe these bag targets are good for us even though we're bow hunting and not target archery all of this stuff is getting you to train to pick a spot on an animal rather than to pick a section of an animal it's going to make you fine tune now every one of these shots i've been doing on here I have been doing from very far distance, well not very far, but from plus 20 yards, so 23, 24, 25, farthest time goes 27 in my yard. So I've been doing that, and it, but it's out there, when you're 27 yards away, your arrow shaft looks bigger than this when you see it in your peripheral vision. Um, I mean, so this, it's really making you dial in and really pick that spot and really lock onto it and get that. And so it's a great training tactic. And I think that all three of them come into play. I think that that paper one is a fantastic option to train your mind to project the spot. This is a great option to save the wear and tear on your expensive targets. These 3D targets are not cheap. 
I just got another one of these gear ones, and I think I paid 170 bucks for it, or 160 bucks, and it's another one of these cheap ones. Believe it or not, before all these stupid price increases, I would buy these at Dunham for like 79 bucks. Okay, now it's like 160 bucks or 170 bucks. It's stupid, stupid pricing, and the Reinhardt deer targets are even worse. They're just ridiculous. Um, so it'll save the wear and tear on your expensive targets by using that bag target. And you get that benefit. And I believe, I don't know if this one is, is this a, no, see this is another one with the target spots on this side here. Let me pull these. But this one's got this side. You could again aim for your individual dots. You might even like this one better for longer distances because they're not so close to the edges of the bag. You know, but you can aim for those individual dots and what you want to do with it. Um, so, and some of them have the deer targets on them, you know, on one side. Those are great too, but, you know, I just, uh, I've always had a bag target. Always enjoyed bag targets, but I never picked this side for anything other than form. I was wrong. This is a good training thing for us as bow hunting to really make us pick that spot. Not just come up and shoot at the whole animal, which many of us do. You hear people say all the time, I didn't pick a spot, I didn't pick a spot. Well, when you mix this into your training on a regular basis, then you have to pick a spot on here. You can't just shoot at the middle of the bag. Shooting at this spot here is irrelevant because shooting at this spot means that your mind just puts it in the center of the whole thing. You're not actually shooting at this spot, you're shooting at the center of the bag. That's bad. Shooting at these ones, you have to pick the spot, okay? It's a big difference, I promise you. So, and most people are shooting at the center. Shoot at these and pick them and call them out you know, from out there. It'll make a tremendous difference for you. And I bet it makes you a much more accurate bow hunter as well too. So. All right, last group of the night here. We're going to do that same thing, picking the top two dots. We're going to start with the one on the left. We're 27 yards away, farthest I can be in my yard. It's a long way. There's one. I mean, this is a long way. For me, anyway, it's a very long way. All right, one on the right, top right. All right, let's walk down there and see how we did, because I can't even tell from here. It's too far away. I have no idea. But as a, you know, instinctive shooter, this really helps you keep from shooting at the center or zone shooting on an animal and just shooting for that, that kill zone. This really makes you fine-tune. And from back here, those dots are so little on here. So it really makes me lock in. Uh, let's walk down there and see how we did. We were shooting at the top two. Let me spin this around. We'll walk down here together. Sorry, I'm kicking the tripod a little bit here. Let's go see how we did. Aiming at the top two. Well, one arrow is definitely a little, oh, it's actually hanging down. It's not as bad as I thought. All right, so let me set this down here. Let me set my bow down real quick so we can turn you into, you can see this better. And uh, that's actually not too bad. We'll call that first shot absolutely perfect. I mean, look at that, from 27 yards, I'm real happy with that. This one, I was aiming for this dot, so we're off by, we are a finger off from being in the black on there, one finger off. This is a pretty small target, you can see. Like I said, I mean, that's smaller than a Coke can, but we were just a hair off there, you know, from being in that one, so I'll take it. From that kind of distance, I will definitely call that pretty good shooting, but really dials you in, and uh, like I said, I'm having a lot of fun with this bag target. And when I put this off to the side and I start shooting at my animal targets, I'm noticing I'm shooting a heck of a lot better on them. So I do, I do think this is a well, a very smart idea to do by picking these spots. Forget the middle. The middle will make you focus on the middle, just like zone shooting here. Shoot at the four corner dots. That's where the training comes in. So there you go.